Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Paradox and welcome to a new series on the channel, Batman the Telltale Series. I figured because of the insane support on the Spider-Man Miles Morales series, we would keep up the superhero theme we got going, switch to the DC Universe this time around, and play this game that I've heard of but never actually touched before. And honestly, on top of that, I've never even played a Telltale title, period. So this is going to be a first time experience for me overall. Let's get into it. Make sure I downloaded all the DLC. <laughs> I downloaded all the episodes that I saw on the PlayStation Store, but I'm not 100% sure if I got them all. I have to freaking make an account? What is this? Created an account. Uh, the music is blasting in my ears. Okay, cool. So, I have Classic Edition. I also have Shadows Edition. I don't really know the difference between the two. That's the thing. Like, I've... I know nothing about this game, really. <laughs> Literally going in blind. Uh, seeing as Shadows Edition is, I guess, like a hand redrawn version. I guess that's like the newer one. So maybe we'll start out with Shadows Edition, and then if I don't like it, we can just switch back to Classic. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm getting into. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Okay. So I gotta make every choice carefully. Oh my gosh, why was that so ominous? <laughs> Ooh. City Hall. Ooh, this game is a vibe. It was at this moment that he knew. <gasps> he forgot. You... Oh! Okay, this game is not for kids. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Mayor Hill. Get it open. On it. I wonder whose gang this is. Gonna show. Bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. It's like the pun or er, uh, crossbones, but that's from Marvel. This is DC, baby. Move in. Is that Jim? The hell? Back. Get back. Gordon. They're on the fifty second floor. It is Gordon. I'm going in. Hey! Wait! Wait for backup! Don't need it. Take the stairs. I heard stories, you know. Sent three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. <gasps> there he is! Oh, okay. Bro, he looks so sick! Oh, he saw that. Hello. It's too late, buddy. <laughs> huh? He's frozen in fear. Ugh! Oh my gosh. All right, I gotta be on it with the QTEs. Why are you just standing there? What? What just happened? Bruce, you can't keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. It's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. Criminals in this city. <laughs> they need something to fear. Me? Oh. <gasps> Whatever got in, don't let it get out. Each dialogue choice has a timer, bruh. I don't know how I feel about that. Giving me anxiety. Like these criminals. <laughs> what? 
Who's that? Oh, oh. Bro, I gotta be paying attention at all times, okay? Oh my gosh, black and white is actually so good. Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh, he's like a horror character. Back to back, circle up. You know their hearts are racing, bro. Is that smoke bomb? Easy. Yes, sir. <coughs> what is this? Why are they coughing? They're wearing masks. Yep. Yoink. <laughs> Yoink. Hat trick. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay, so it's like combo. Bro. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Sorry, evil. Come on! Come on! <laughs> oh, gosh. Woo, what's good? Bro, this is crazy. What's good? Oh, what's good? Wee, bink, bink. Oh, it goes fast, bro. It goes so fast. Yo, this guy is getting. Wait, what? Oh! Hey, hit the replay on that. <laughs> this guy... What is this, multiverses? This guy's getting comboed. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Oh, Catwoman. Behind you, big boy. Duh. Hey, Dave. Get her. I'm coming for that booty. Stay where you are. You're under arrest. Aw. Catch me if you can. <laughs> oh, it's like that scene from the Batman. Intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you. So are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Ow. <sighs> Without a scratch. So far. His Batman voice is so interesting. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. I'll just stay quiet. Huh. So brooding. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Yeah, right Don't now. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal. It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. What do you mean by that? Ooh. Bring it back. You into that? That was good. These hands are rated E for everyone. The fist of justice is unisex. Ugh. Whoa! Thank goodness for slow mo. Bruh, I did it. How did he?
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ow. That was mean. <laughs> Why is he running like that? Oh, I almost pressed the wrong button. What happens if you press the wrong button? Ooh! WWE moves. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. What the heck is that? <coughs> oh my gosh. Gotcha. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I wasn't paying attention. I've got an audience now. <laughs> yep, that's good. that trouble for this Shit. a myth can't be killed you however are flesh and blood oh God damn it. no bruh <laughs> who's that cop <laughs> oh my gosh Wait, what? Bro, she just got... Get her, bro! She's still falling. <laughs> Bro, I feel like this is what Ben Affleck's Batman could have been. Oh, she's gonna wake up. <laughs> Good morning. Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Who put you up to this? Answer me or I let go. But you won't. You're not that kind of guy. Bye, Bat. <laughs> Ow! Well, I mean, he did technically drop you. <laughs> technically. Bro, she took my thing! Aww. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Okay. Time to save the city. Looking fresh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Harvey Dent. For too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Why well, you gotta hi, put Bruce. the spotlight on me? <laughs> uh, hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. 
That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. <laughs> thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. Why does Bruce look so small? Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stick. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, <laughs> put a dent in crime, hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. Half bad? Use that. <laughs> Bruce, I meant what I the said. The foreshadowing. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. I really... I'm liking this so far. <laughs> I don't know what it is, it's just... Oh, it's got this vibe to it. I'm, I'm really messing with. Who's that? Pause. Mr. Oz. Wayne, I'd Oz. like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. <laughs> I think I speak for half the room when I Harvey say politicians that. are what? puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. <laughs> no, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat Freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, yeah. An idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. Uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway. Why you gotta be so it was descriptive? Terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe. Uh, 
Well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll there we go. Yeah, Thank let's you. go. Well, thank you both. Smooth. I feel like I'm doing authentic Bruce roleplay right now. Saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. <laughs> Make it about Harvey until he turns Two Face. <laughs> oh well, hello, Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale. Not interested. And oh. reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. Okay. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. <laughs> well, <laughs> Bruce, you Did he just smolder? Going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Mr. Wayne, you've you've got something on your collar. Um oh, blood. Is that blood? Yeah. It looks like Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just uh cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Uh-oh. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's Falcone. biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. I hate it when they do that. They're like, Falcone. <laughs> it's Falcone. And what now. kind of business do you think he's in? One that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Trust us to East Street. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. Word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. Mm, I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> you know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. I'm gonna let him monologue. Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. I'm trying to just analyze this guy. You're a respectable man, I hear. Gotta Bruce play Wayne. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy is gonna sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Gotta play Bruce Wayne. You should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. What? Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. I'll bring Bruce back to you soon. Nah, Harvey comes with me. Harvey come stays on. with us. It's my home, my rules. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever ah, you... Ah, what did I say? A 
I'm so immersed, it's crazy. <laughs> Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? Okay. And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Well, I would say you can uphold the law and still do what's right. To a point. No one gets remembered for staying in the middle. Mm. Uh, Mr. Falcone, I... No more warnings. I I it's like a dejected, dejected Mr. puppy. Wayne. Gives me a digestion. I got enough of that as is. <clears throat> so, let's talk relationship. Oh, slow down there, buddy. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. I'll just leave it on the table. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. For Gotham. For our city. I'm just gonna stay quiet. I'm gonna see his real intentions. You listen to me, kid. Mm -hmm. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. Well, why are you mentioning my dad, which bro? to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Good idea, Alfred. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. <sighs> the tension is crazy! Oh wait, was this just the beginning? Bro, I have no idea. <laughs> Bro, oh my it's gosh. Me. Never thought I'd be this hype over a black and white video game. Oh, at the Batmobile. Looking clean. Episode one, okay. Seems like Carmine might be our main villain here. Realm of Shadows, all right. Oh, this is perfect then, in black and white mode. <laughs> Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in. With breaking and entering incidents up over last year. Remember, movie tickets. Wait, why were they outside their cover? And we have breaking news tonight. Five oh. criminals are in custody this evening after a break in at City Hall. Yep. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Oh, we still have the thing. We like exchange. She took my hook, and then I. Wait, what? What the frick? Wait, where's the where's the drive? Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, look at this. Our gadget table. Authorities are asking that you do not approach and call police 
Oh, spare grapple gun. Spare grapple. Nice. Can't believe I let her take that. Interesting. Trace detection skimmer. Newest addition. Can program it to reveal trace elements in a confined space. Nearly fell off a building for this. Better be good. You know, he could just have a normal rolly chair, but no, he has to have a chair come out from the floor. That's why that one is so important. That is so Bruce. Better be good. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, encrypted. Hacky hacky. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. Thanks for and telling me I that. I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. <laughs> sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. <laughs> Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Holograms. What? Rotate hologram. Okay. Why are there's ugh, my controller battery's low. Fan freaking fantastic. Okay. Um This is a map of the east side shoreline. Yep. Yeah. But it could mean any number of things. It's the docks. Money, weapons, well. drugs. Everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, <clears throat> I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. How come? Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I had everything under control. That's true. I've seen you take down worse thugs. But I'd already sewn you up once tonight, and I had no interest in a repeat performance. <laughs> For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? Yeah, that's what I was about it to say. Turn again, Bruce. No, people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she mm. new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. What? You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I'm going to stay quiet. <laughs> you have to admit you've been drawing a lot of attention to yourself, and not the playboy billionaire buys new yacht kind of attention. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's going to figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I have a job to do, okay? A responsibility to this city. You know why I do this. For the car, I presume. Well, the car helps. <laughs> oh, yes, you drive that thing like a bat out of hell. <sighs> because I Don't am. worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for I love Alfred. Rest. Business card. Park 6 a.m. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. 20 Indeed. years? You two were thick as thieves. <laughs> Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? What? That's a criminal grand slam. 
if I'm using the expression correct. You call him the penguin. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, I feel like that's kind of a reach. they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but <laughs> it was the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Cobblepot Park. What? <laughs> he has his own park. Ugh, why are you looking at me like that? Interesting. Okay. Where are you, Oz? Homeless person? Right, you're a billionaire. Give 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 him some money. <laughs> give him some monies. Uh, thank you, sir. Okay. Running late, meet you by the statue. Great. There's the statue, but no Oz. Yeah, how are you gonna say six AM and then not show up? <laughs> 6 a.m. is early. Smoking man. Shopping cart. I guess maybe just homeless people brought them here. Smoking man. Talk to the smoking man. Hey. Beat it. Breathe air! You don't need... All right. Who's this uh, statue of? Oh, there's Oz. Watch I think. wallet cash. Oh no, it's not. But this goes through you. You really trying to run up on me like that? Hey, you heard him, man. Try and take it. What are you waiting for? Go ahead. Try and take it. The hell you say? End him. Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh. holding the moment! <clears throat> oh! Come here! I think that'll do! Bro, I'm, I'm used to Oz being fat. Stay down! Oh my gosh! He's brutal. Oh. Wow, he just a nice place. Dismantled the gun. Dang, bro. Ow. I almost feel bad for these guys. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? <laughs> Sheesh. Oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Hey, good as new. <laughs> Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? This is a penguin. Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been, what, two decades? And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. 
That they were. Yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Oh. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. I'm... I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. <laughs> you still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... <sighs> Wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Yeah, he wasn't Falcone invited. was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... I'm liking... To watch him pavement. I'm liking this Oz. I don't know how he's meant to turn into Penguin. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. That's the rich and powerful go. Oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. That's a battle you won't win, Oz. No. Oh, I've learned a thing or three since we were kids. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. What? When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but yes. I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. <laughs> Is uh, I don't know. Uh, that mood change was crazy. <laughs> it was like it was all okay, and then it wasn't. Press conference for the new hospital starts soon. Car waiting on south. Okay. Oh, why he walking like that? <laughs> is that is that Arkham? Oh, future home of Thomas and Martha Wayne Memorial Hospital. Oh. Interesting. Oh, look at the whip, Mr. Wayne, over here, right here, this way. Bruce, Bruce. That's right. Uh, morning, everyone. Yeah, we gotta be charismatic if we're gonna be morning, Bruce, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. Right, it's color. bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Need to talk. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum what? is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. 
Bruce? Uh, wait, what? My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Smooth. With this facility and our next mayor, we can put a dent in crime. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. That was good. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vail. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? Uh, I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable. Put our citizens in jeopardy. Yeah. We <laughs> can wrong. do better. Absolutely. We, all right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, right uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. I knew that was going to be a mistake. Uh, well, I think Mr. Falcone is a voter just like anyone else in this city. He came to learn about Harvey no. Dent, your next mayor. Okay. Next question. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Uh, I'm going to ignore. But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. What? Care to comment? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Do the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? All right, this press conference is over. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, how Bruh. long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Shaking his hand true? caused this? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Oh my gosh, bro. As soon as I shook his hand, I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I'm sorry, are you arresting me? Not unless I'm forced to. We're only collecting evidence today. I didn't do anything. That's what we're here to find out. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. And if I refuse? Well, then we might have to make a scene. That's the last thing I want. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. Mayor Hill? As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Okay, so you just do whatever Mayor Hill says. 
Hill and I... We have a vested interest to keep things professional. For Gotham's sake. Doesn't mean I like the words whistling through his windpipes. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's chopping block, but here we are. Why, because I Hill endorsed Dent? Hill I go down, Harvey's campaign yeah, Exactly. That was what I was That'd about to say. shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Oh, I don't. Except for one little thing. <laughs> Bruh. Is that the cop that shot me? Then <laughs> he breaks my stuff. Photo. It's gonna be a photo of my parents or something. Duh. <gasps> Don't have to do this. Oh, this is crazy. Bruce. Bruce. Bruce? I I didn't mean to interrupt, but It's... it's not a problem, really. Ah, oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. Yeah, <laughs> really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Okay. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Hmm. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. Probably Falcone, to be honest. No idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Not every day you get to go after a Wayne. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. Mm. Yeah. It won't. Ooh. Right, tonight... This scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. Sure. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. But what do I say? Uh, the story is pure fiction. Justice will be served. My family is innocent. Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood? That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. That was a little aggressive. I kind of regret that decision We're now. We're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rail. No, she's not half bad. I like her. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family? We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Exactly. Yep, we're gonna have a chat, bud. Warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? You tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. 
Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah. Then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the guy the DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just There's doesn't make sense. More to it. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. <laughs> oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. We need to fight back. Hill cannot get away with this. It may not be a war we can win. The city will be behind you, Harvey, just like I am. There you are. Hey, you. What Sorry. the heck? I got a habit of being late. No, no black no, eyes. Glad you made it. We gonna acknowledge the black eye or oh you didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner that's her this is selena i gave her a black eye Yo, I my hope bad I'm not interrupting anything i think we've met before you do look familiar everyone knows who bruce wayne is do they pleasure to meet you miss kyle yep it's a strong grip you've got there don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Selena's new to town. Frick, she's on to me. I've been showing her around Gotham, <laughs> introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. I was mugged. I'm just right. angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. <laughs> it's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I love well, I the unspoken second materials. conversation that's going on here. Ooh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm going to explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Why did I laugh at, at that? At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. <laughs> We've got it under control. She just barked? Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. Are they gonna drop the walls of mystery now? <laughs> this is awkward. The stare down is crazy. Nice to meet the real you. Likewise. <laughs> this explains a lot, actually. Oh, man. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Duh. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. Bruh. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? 
No response. <laughs> I think you like it. So do I. Too bad you can't let yourself admit it. He's not there yet. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. Who hired you to break into the mayor's office? My clients prefer to remain confidential. They don't know who I am. I don't know who they are. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. Yeah, <laughs> we've made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. Oh, we're a little fast, sweetheart. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. We can work together. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. Selena, please give me the address. Oh, he says please when he wants to. <laughs> okay, Bruce. Seeing as I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat. Not a bat. What are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Gotta run, yeah. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Yeah, Aren't okay. you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Bro, why... You gotta be so obvious. <laughs> I'm wearing a suit. What do you mean? <laughs> Gotham docks. I knew it was the docks. Yeah, this is good. I think in this stage, Batman prefers to work alone. So while the idea of working with Catwoman is good, warehouse. No sign of I kind of want to do this behind. myself. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. She sent me the wrong address. Stay on guard. No, she wouldn't do that. I love the bat suit. It, it, it's really giving me Ben Affleck vibes. Oh. Okay. It's a massacre in here. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. That's what I'm so Explosion on the ground as well. That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon. Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. One eternity later. Have you put it together? Yes. Alright, let's see. Hopefully I... Tony leaving his rose here. Did it right. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. Yeah, this is low-key an act of war. <laughs> One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. It's gotta Looks be like dead shot and scarecrow. Men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the Maybe shooter? they're collecting fear toxin. No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there. Okay. He would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. That can Program be tracked. Skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. 
Yeah, this seems more legit. It's a good thing the cops are taking a while to get here, because, uh... <laughs> I'm taking my sweet time. <laughs> yep, there you go. Fingerprint! Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner! Turn those guys into chicken dinner. Cigarette! Breathe air! It's got a, it's dead <laughs> shot. Time. It's dead shot. Uh, it's 100% dead shot. This uh, is the right spot. Should take the cigarette for so DNA evidence. DNA analysis, bro. Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. What? No. Found him. Oh. He's Time dead. To go to work. Time to go to work. Wait, is he alive? Is he... S Bro, he was here the whole time? <laughs> He's alive. What the... My turn. Oh my gosh. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. No, Coney. Why did he do this? I... I ain't telling you nothing! Choke him out, bruh. You, you can't make me talk! I ain't telling you, Jack! You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break! You bones, bro. <laughs> yep, time for torture. Yeah, grab a bar, start whacking at him. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Time to live up to my reputation. <laughs> you know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Yep, All internal bleeding. Inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. If you're gonna hit me, hit me! Alright, let's start with the face. <laughs> Tell me! That cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container! Someone must have heard us. Uh. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. No! Stop! <laughs> I, <laughs> I can't do this. And keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! Are some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Falcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! So it is Falcone, okay. I told you everything I know! The cops are here. An animal! I was just here for a pickup! I swear! You'll never hold a gun steady again. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here! I think I need to call the coroner instead. I'm gonna disappear. This doesn't look good for me. I was wrong. I'm gonna need that ambulance too. What the hell's going on tonight, Lieutenant? Batman. Batman. <laughs> I hope they don't think I killed them. Oh! Noted your violence. Too far, Bruce. I told him you assumed the persona the of a bat, but you're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. I mean, he deserves it. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> <laughs> Next time, it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. 
Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Who my parents were, the life they led, Gotham revered them. I could never match that. You won't. You will far surpass them. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. I feel like I'm watching a movie right now. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Why would I break the tickets? What? <laughs> nice. Okay. Meta unlock. Well, back into the fray again. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... More than I could have imagined. What? This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. Easy. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything. You see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. <sighs> I was thinking it could be blackmail. Like they're working together, but he has this on him. I don't know. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. The brother is everywhere. <laughs> Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes. Uh, First name Mrs. basis. <laughs> she could release this evidence through proper channels. Yep. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. I think Jim. Even though his his trust in me has been a little bit strained, I want to rebuild that trust, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Gordon on this one. The cops are on the front lines of this war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. Yeah. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police and Batman by any means necessary yeah <laughs> whatever Falcone is planning it ends tonight he has such Here's good one-liners Bruce eyes everywhere uh -huh. a dense web of goons poised to trap you spider spider-man no one has ever managed to bring him down I haven't tried yet <laughs> I'm telling you the one-liners are crazy. Sorry if I'm not talking that much. I'm just I'm I'm in it like it's a movie. Is he doing this as Bruce? Oh, he's doing this as Bruce. Okay. This. This is a silver bullet. And it's going to put Falcone down once and for all. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. Everyone on the force will too. I, I heard you. you were the last honest man on the force. No need to blow smoke. <laughs> I got enough cancer coming my way as it is. But thank you. Honestly. Knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. <laughs> I'll sleep like a god baby. For once. <laughs> you know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So right. you should know this isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. The Wayne's always supported the Gotham police. 
So I'd like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. The investigation isn't the problem. It's the Wayne family name. Help me clear it. If your family's clean, I'll sing it from the rooftops. If they aren't, I'll still sing. Mm. I can respect you that. Understand. I'm bound to this badge. Unwavering. It's a good trait to have. I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. <laughs> you I'm think? Just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant. Hey, stick to Jim. <laughs> Why does everyone walk so weird in this game? <laughs> it's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place nice. called the Skyline Club. Oh, yeah. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. I love that I chose red. Because, look at this. Oh, that transition was crazy. We're in the Batmobile now, baby. Oh my gosh, that thing can fly. Are you sure that's not the Batwing? Skyline Club. Oh, speaking of the Batwing. Oh wait, no, it's just Bruce. Never mind. He is the Batwing. <laughs> Drones, cameras, and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. Bro. Okay. Balcony. I mean, that's obviously not him. What's up there? Rose sigil? Hello. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. A red rose after tonight. Oh. Uh, does she see me? <laughs> she looked like she was looking right at me. Office. That's He's got to be in the office. Guarded door in the building. Gotta that's, be Falcone's hideout. Yeah, that's where well, he is. Won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Maybe Four smashing the blast. Okay. Stealth not an option. Stealth isn't an option. Okay. Nope. Have you formulated your plan of attack? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going in. Here we go. Good, I just gotta execute it now. Your turn to crash his party. Let's go, baby. Mess this up. What's good? Hold on. Surprise, I'm the boogeyman. straight through him, but into him. Oh, my meter is full. How do I... 
Bro, I got Can't sneak up on me. the force or what? Armed. Activate it. <laughs> you think that's gonna work? I'm gonna light up this whole guy's face! <laughs> that was good, buddy. Get your guys' hands off of my suit! Burn him. Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid. Oh, bruh. So what would, what would the other option have done for me? Taking him out of the room? Oh, finishing blow. Save the fucking less. Fire when ready. Okay. Oh, gosh. There we go. I'm surprised he's not dead. <laughs> this is epic. Not gonna reach that gun. You've lost Falcone. I can go a few more rounds. Let's test that theory. The chemicals. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The White Rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? He got now, framed. Something reeks about this old thing. And it ain't a dead bat. Really gonna shank me? <laughs> you gonna shank me through the armor? Yeah, smart, dude. Still wanna play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals get so riled up about they're mine, all right? I actually believe him. But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at Mayor the Hill. Then who did? No, with that Gotham's watching now. Ah. Red eyes, big dude. Give him a show. I'll be walking free. Arrest him. Brutalize him. Gotham. <laughs> I'll arrest him. The cops are here. I don't want to make a scene that I. I don't, yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to push it too far, you know. <laughs> Spill it, Balcony, while you still can. <laughs> it's the wings. They're behind all this. What, what do you mean? You want to save this city? Well, the wings are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Bro, what? I'm the bad guy? I don't get it. Thanks, Vinicius. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! What? Bro, really? Really, dude? Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years. But after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long time long time let's go speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings this brings me to the story everyone is talking about the wayne family for generations the big w on the wayne enterprises tower was a reassuring sight you knew that there was something pure at the heart of gotham that this city for all its faults was built by good people but with thomas and martha's shining reputation called into question we no longer have such assurances and even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, 
seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone. But they keep bringing this up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I made a mistake. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. I don't know. That's what we gotta figure out. But I trust the world's greatest detective on this one. Suit. The car. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built! I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die! If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Don't yell Alfred. at Alfred. Don't! Why you gotta take out your aggression on Alfred, though? That's not cool, bud. <laughs> He's just a butler. Oh, that's the end of the episode. Okay, cool. So that was episode one of Batman, the Telltale series. I'm really enjoying it so far. I really am enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. I mean, I didn't even know what to think uh, starting off. I knew barely anything about the game, but I, I, I can say I am pleasantly surprised so far. Obviously, this was only episode one, uh, so I'm going to reserve full judgment till after we finish all five episodes but for now i'm saying this is this is good <laughs> i like this I, I want more so so if you guys enjoyed this make sure to leave a like uh so i know to make more and uh yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one take care and peace